Hello everyone, so in this particular video we are going to do one end to end Azure Data Factory project. So we have one of the requirement. Uh, first we will try to understand the requirement and then uh, we will do a practical and we will try to solve this question. So our requirement is like I had to delete a file from a blob storage if the file size is greater than uh, 1 MB. So what actually it is saying like in I have one of the blob storage account this is my blob storage account in this blob storage account you can see I have a multiple file like file 1, file 2, file 3, file 4, file 5 like that the multiple files are available into this blob storage my requirement is like on this blob storage I have to delete only those file which is greater than 1 MB that is my requirement so if I will show you I have created one blob storage account this is the blob storage in this blob storage I have uploaded a few couple of file you can see uh, few, the size of this file is like the first file is 1.1 MB the second is 141 uh, byte 280 byte 145 byte so I have to delete only those file which is greater than 1 MB that is my requirement so that is the practical we are going to do now what actually I will do let me open my data factory so this is the data factory so in this case what actually I will do first I will try to read all the file which is available into this blob storage so in a data factory how actually I can do first I will create a pipeline new pipeline which activity I will use to read what are the file which is available into the blob storage I will use a get metadata I will use a get metadata activity this will be by default go to the setting we have to create a data set so I will create a data set file is available in a blob storage so select that it is in CSV format and after that we have to create a link service we will select our subscription we will select our storage account and finally we will try to click on the create I will select the file path so my file is available into this particular input location so I will use that I will not select any file as of now and I will click on the OK now what this get meta activity will do from this field is what I have to select I have to select the all the file which is available so I will use the child item now uh, this get meta data is ready if I will click on the debug I should be able to read what are the file which is available into the input container so for that I am using a get meta data so I click on the debug mode and it is uh, let's wait to it complete now you can see it is succeed now I should be able to read the output click on the output now you can see in a child item I have a multiple file like file 1, file 2, file 3, file 4 Nick, what are the file which is available into the in my container I am able to read so now you can see here we have a multiple file like the file 1, file 2, file 3 like adidas usas.csv department.csv employee1.csv employee location.csv now what actually I want to do for each file I want to know what is their size so what I will do because we have a multiple file right so we have to iterate that so I will use one for each activity so I will use a for each activity I will try to connect that you can search for each activity once it will come you can drag that and you can connect here now what I will do whatever the output we are getting from this get metadata to right I want to pass in a for each activity so select the for each activity go to the setting I want to pass sequential so I will use the sequential click on the dynamic content and I will use a get metadata one dot output right get metadata one dot child item click on the ok so each file one by one I am passing through a for each activity now what we will do we will try to find out what is the size of the each file so for that what we will use we will use a get metadata so I am using one activity get metadata in for each one activity I am using get metadata select that go to the setting here we will create one new data set click on the new blob storage and uh, csv file we will use the same link service what we have and here we will select the input container and but the file name we will pass the dynamically what will be the file name file name will be what is the file name which is coming from this get metadata one that should be a file name so this is the data set you have created right open that this file name we want to pass it dynamically right for that we have to create a parameter so use the parameter use the file name go to the connection click on the file name click on the dynamic content and use the file name 
So this file name actually I wanted to pass it dynamically. So I have created one parameter. I'm passing into this parameter. Now go to the pipeline. You can see we have one of the file name. So what will be the file name? From for each activity one by one the item file name is coming, right? So that we have to select. So click on the add dynamic content. From for each activity, what is the file name? So item dot name you will write. Click on the OK. File name will come. Now what actually we want to find out? We want to find out what is the file name and the what is size. So in the field list, you can select. Uh, we will select the item name that will give you the file name. Select uh, one more. We want to also know the size. So you can see size is there. So you can select that. Now let's try to debug. Now we should be able to read the file from this get metadata one, one by one. And I should be able to read what is the file name and what is the file size. So I should get the output. So you can see the get metadata one is succeed. Now if I'll show you, I'm able to read all the file one by one. Now this each file actually I'm passing through a for each activity. So you can see it is in progress. Now for each file, I should be able to get the the what is the file name and what is the file size. So you can see get metadata too. So you can see this is the file and what is the file size. This many file size is there. So for the second get metadata too, you can see this is the file. What is the file size 141. So now you can see uh, I am able to read the what is the size of the file. So you can see department dot uh, dot csv is a 141 bytes only. Imply one dot csv is 280 bytes only. 145 bytes only. But this is a 1.1 MIB. So you have to what we have to do. We have to only write a condition uh, which which is greater than the 1 MB and it should be able to delete this that file. But uh, based on requirement here in the requirement, you can see right my other file is uh, less than 500 bytes. So I can write that condition only uh, if the file size is greater than 500 bytes, then I will delete that kind of the condition also I will write because that will satisfy my condition and that will delete the um, the file size which is greater than one MB. But we can write a multiple condition based on the business requirement. So I am able to read each file one by one and I'm able to read the file size. Now what I will do, I will try to find out the file size which is greater than 1 MB, right? So I will click on the act, add activity, if condition. In this if condition, I will write one expression. Click on the if condition. Go to the activity. In the expression, we will write a condition. So I will use a at the rate greater. And uh, what actually we want to compare? So you can see activity output, right? So from this get metadata to get metadata to whatever the size is coming. If the file size is greater than 1000 bytes, I'm writing condition. If the file size is 1000 greater than 1000 bytes, then I want to delete because in my case, uh, most of the file is less than 1000 bytes, right? So I'm writing that condition. If it is greater than 1000 bytes, then I want to delete. So that is the condition I'm writing. But for 1 MB also, you can convert uh, 1 MB to the byte and that you can pass here. Now click on the OK. Now if the file size is greater than 1000 bytes, then it is a true, right? So in the in the case of the true, what actually you want to do? If it is a greater than 1000 bytes, then I want to delete it. So click on the true. In this case, what I want to do? I want to do a delete. So I'll use a delete activity. Select that. Go to the source. You can select the same data set which we have created. Which file you want to delete? So this we will pass a dynamic content. Which file we want to delete? Which is coming through a get metadata to item name. This particular name. Click on the OK. Now go to the logging setting. In the logging setting, you have to select the link service. And also you can select the folder path where you want to save. So let me save this into this uh, one input container only the logging details, but you can create a separate folder for that. So now our pipeline is ready. So what actually we are doing? Let me show you. First from a get metadata one, we are able to read all the file which is available in container. Each file I'm passing through a for each activity. I'm trying to find out what is the file size and file name. Now if the files in if condition, if the file size is greater than 1000 bytes, then what actually I'm doing, I'm performing a delete activity. So that is the thing I have done. Now let me click on the debug and let's see whether it is getting deleted or not. 
now you can see it is succeed now now the file should be deleted you can see in input container this was the file which was uh, greater than 1000 bytes right now let me refresh it should be deleted click on the refresh you can see that file got deleted on only these three files are pending and you can see one log file also got created because we have selected the logging details here only right so whatever the file which size was 1000 byte greater with that file got deleted similarly you can write it for the uh, 1 MB also if the file size is greater than you can convert the MB into the bytes and you can write that condition in a if condition so I hope you got the idea that's it in this video please do practice